Learning correct intonation and timing is essential to the musical development of both individuals and ensembles. The Yamaha Harmony Director is a comprehensive tool that brings harmony training and rhythm training together in one convenient device. When we saw the HD in action for the first time, we felt basically like bad teachers that we had not used it immediately when we had heard about it. The Harmony Director is the most efficient tool that I've come across in teaching pitch awareness to students. The Harmony Director is not just an inside uh, intonation-based device. Uh, it can be used outside for marching band as well. I think one of the largest struggles that we run into is equating indoor fundamentals with outside playing and we feel that the Harmony Director is the perfect bridge to make that happen. The interface is so incredibly um, user-friendly and easy to work. I think that even someone with very little keyboard background or very few keyboard skills will find themselves very comfortable within a very short period of time. I don't think most people like change. However, the Harmony Director is the perfect integration of this technology in the classroom, allowing for us to teach in a different way and from my perspective, making the students a lot better educated in the long run. In order to show my students the difference between equal and pure intonation, I demonstrate it using the harmony director. I show them with a tuner a triad. I play the first note, the root of the triad, and ask if it's in tune, and they say yes. And then I play the third and ask if it's in tune, the needle stands straight up and they say yes. And then I play the fifth of the chord and I ask if it's in tune and they say yes, because all it's equal temperament, all notes stop the dial on the tuner. Then I ask them, well, if they're all in tune and I play these notes together, should I hear any waves in the sound? And their answer is no. And so I play the triad in equal temperament and they hear the waves. And I said, are there waves? And they say yes. And then I push the pure intonation button and it switches to no waves. I said, what about now? And they said the waves went away. So then I'd show them what happened. I show them the tuner and I play the root of the chord and I ask if it's in tune and they say yes because it stands at zero. Then I play the fifth of the chord and I ask if it's in tune and they say yes because it's right up at zero. And then I play the third of the chord and I ask if it's in tune and they look and they say no. And I say, what's wrong? And they say, well, it's really flat. And I said, well, if I play that really flat, and a plate with the others, are there waves? And they say no. And so then I begin the discussion of how we have to alter pitch to play in pure intonation versus equi temperament. And it's all about the waves and how they hear the waves, not about what the dial or the tuner says. We've used the HD to demonstrate to the students the real differences between the sound in equal temperament and pure or just intonation. Of course, there's a wonderful little button on the interface that allows you to switch from one to the other very efficiently. And the students can hear the difference between the two immediately. I also really like that the display indicates the pitch indicators and how far those notes need to be from where they usually are in order for pure or just intonation to be achieved. And that helps me feel confident in relaying that information to the students on a daily basis. The first time that we used the Harmony Director, the, the biggest difference that we saw immediately was a student's acknowledgement in the disappearance of waves in a pure temperament model. I had tried different means of assisting the students with their pitch recognition before, and so there were several things that I had in mind when I listened to the features that were available on the HD. When I heard about this piece of equipment, I thought that it sounded like it was going to be easier to utilize. When we saw the HD in action for the first time, we felt basically like bad teachers that we had not used it immediately when we had heard about it. One of my biggest concerns prior to purchasing the Harmony Director is I am not a piano player. I took the class in college but was not very good. So I was concerned about the efficiency of rehearsal um, and, and also be stumbling in front of the students, you know, not being able to adequately showcase what I wanted to showcase. Uh, I recognize now that there's an auto function in the Harmony Director. I play a triad and it's in the key area that I want. It could not be more simple. Uh, in fact, it's easier for me than using uh, some other devices. 
My initial fear about using the Harmony Director is that it's a keyboard, and my piano skills or keyboard skills are not highly developed, and I was nervous about displaying that in front of my students. But really, you don't need to have any keyboard skills to use the Harmony Director effectively. You just need to be able to play an octave or triad, and it's a very easy user interface, and it's a piece of cake to use. Much better. All tubas together. One, two, ready, play. Our youngest staff member is a second year teacher who had little or no keyboard training and so I know for him the prospect of, of having a keyboard in front of him to manage pitch was initially just a little intimidating and I, I even find him now teaching the ensemble without looking down. If you, can, if you can formulate a triad, you are in really good shape. Good, so there, were there more waves at the end or less waves at the end? More, okay, good. Did you try to do that or were you trying to get it better? Okay, so you I've had to colleagues get it express so concerns awesome. to me about their ability or their students' ability to be able to use the Harmony Director and actually be able to hear the waves and the sound. Through my experience with very beginning band students all the way through high schools, I don't haven't run across students that can't hear the waves with the Harmony Director. <laughs> Better or worse? That's a lot better, isn't it? And then who do we balance to on the last chord? Okay, can I hear low brass play the last chord, please? Let's play it a mezzo piano. One, two, ready, and. Mezzo piano. Sing. Just guys? Just ladies? Ensembles have benefited uh, dramatically by allowing for the students to be able to hear exactly what we're talking about within a pure intonation model. Whether it is, you know, the simplest F concert, if you will, an F major triad, any type of triad, being able to showcase the students how that should feel and sound is essential for them being able to ingrain uh, the intonation that we're looking for. We've been working on Music for Prague, a very famous wind band work by Carl Husa. And the end of the work includes a very dramatic unison phrase presentation, uh, which is the key, it's decentric, it's concert decentric, and in very extreme registers for the upper woodwinds and, um, and for the brass. So we have been using the Harmony Director to help the students find a comfortable, uh, their, their most comfortable tonal and pitch representation in those extremes. And it's, it's absolutely made a huge difference in the way that we've performed the end of that piece of music in a very short period of time. So we've been, we've been very grateful to have it here in recent weeks.
One of the challenges in sectional playing is, is accounting for the individual tendencies of, of each of the instruments. And the Harmony Director is the perfect tool that allows for us to showcase those differences, either in an equitempered model or in a pure-tempered model. We use it every day for sectionals, and I find that in the sectional setting, we're teaching the kids as much about their instruments as we are about the music itself. So I know in our trombone sectional, I would never, I, I wouldn't even go into a trombone sectional these days without the HD because it enables us to just find, you know, that, that 3.5 versus 3.2 in terms of their slide positions. We can address those things really quickly. The kids can really hear the difference, which makes our job a lot easier. One of the really neat features about the Harmony Director is the hold button. It's great because you can push the hold button and then play a note or a triad or octaves and then you can walk away and it continues to hold at the same volume and sustain so you can go work with a student if they're in another part of the room or move around if you need to or look at your music while the thing is going and then just hit the hold button and it turns off. I think the three most appealing features about using the HD include the transposition buttons. I love that I can just in the touch of a button run the horn uh, chords or run the trombones, the clarinets within a split second. I love that I can go from key center to key center with the touch of a button and that I can display to the students the differences between pure just intonation as opposed to equal temperament. One feature that I find particularly useful uh, with the Harmony Director is the ability to manipulate individual pitches within a triad. You can have the most in tune triad in the world, but if it's not being played in balance or matching intensity, you're not going to have an in tune triad. Uh, the Harmony Director allows for you to be able to manipulate each one of those pitches individually to showcase that difference to your students. The metronome feature on the Harmony Director is very easy to use. It's also a very good advantage to have it integrated within the Harmony Director. I can use it as its own feature or along with the keyboard so the students can play in time and tempo while a chord is being played by me or have been played and I've pushed the hold button. If I had to choose between the Harmony Director and a traditional tuner in my rehearsal, I would choose the Harmony Director every day. And the reason is, the Harmony Director allows the students to make the pitch decisions in the rehearsal. They can hear the difference, they learn to adjust for the difference. It's not the director's job to point out, you're sharp, you're flat. The students hear it, it's much more efficient. Uh, one, two. Good. It's a lot better, just be careful of E flat, right? And one. And one, two, ready. Good. So how many of you heard a difference in the resonance there? Okay, so pitch and speed of air is really what fixed that. Great. I think if I was stranded on a desert island with my band and I only had one piece of equipment to use, I would use the HD. Of course, the metronome capabilities on it are very helpful. And I think that the, the pitch understanding, recognition, and performance is achieved much more easily and in the right way with the HD as opposed to traditional tuning methods. Every year we hear about a number of new electronic products that we are encouraged to try in the classroom and there are any number of metronomes, any number of uh, different types of things that are supposed to help us in the classroom and so um, as a more experienced teacher I certainly find myself a little wary of putting another piece of equipment in the room but what I've found with the HD is that it's reduced the number of um, the number of things that we utilize. It's one unit that replaces several that we used to use. So I have found that it really has simplified the front of the room and it simplified my job a great deal. The placement of our Harmony Director in the band hall is right next to the podium, just to the left of the podium and a modern keyboard stand. Um, and we run a, uh, a plug right from the Harmony Director into the auxiliary input on our receiver. It couldn't be simpler. In my band program, I use the Harmony Director right next to me in each rehearsal setting. We have 
uh, a band hall, and in our band hall we have a mixer with two powered speakers, and I have the harmony director plugged right into the mixing board, and it's right next to the podium. It's got the music stand, and right next to the podium is the harmony director so that I can, I can efficiently play anything on the harmony director or use the metronome feature without having to leave the podium. Do that interval again. Jobs, brasses, sing, woodwinds, play. Second row. Third row. For more information on the Harmony Director, please visit the Yamaha website at yamaha.com slash band or inquire by email to harmonydirector at yamaha.com. The Harmony Training for the Ensemble DVD is available as an additional resource from Bravo Music at bravomusicinc.com.